Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen R. Blake Jr., DVM, veterinarian for 46 plus years, and I've been requested to do a little piece on is raw food for dogs and cats a good idea and why? So I could go on for hours, but we'll keep it simple. And if you want to learn more about this, I've written a ton of information on my website, thepetwhisperer.com, and also on YouTube. So first of all, the question is, uh, is raw food a good idea? Well, I always say uh, brilliant, of course. Um, a wolf never carries a barbecue in the woods. Amazing. Anyway, I was brought up in a farming community and we fed raw food all the time, whatever cuttings or whatever cooked or otherwise. Bones, there wasn't much commercial dog food back in the 40s, 50s. And so anyway, <clears throat> I grew up that way. I went to vet school and I was taught a different story. And I was told not to feed bones and not feed raw meat. So I bought into that for a while. And then I realized, you know what? A wolf doesn't carry a barbecue in the woods. So I started looking into it and scientifically makes perfect sense. Uh, if you look at the meat, when you cook it, <clears throat> especially over 125 degrees, it does denature it to some extent. So it's not as good, it's still good, meat's meat. However, if you don't cook it or cook it under 125 degrees, you'll maintain the enzyme content and some of the other micronutrients that are uh, degraded by heat. So I tell people, if you want to feed raw, do your homework. And that's what I've done on my website, thepetwhisperer.com. Uh, also, why I just described, but is it safe? The question is kind of ludicrous, really. There's never been a diagnosis confirmed of salmonella in a dog. They're designed to eat rot, rotten meat by our standards. I mean, you know, if you ever smell a carcass that's been out there for a while and a wolf or a coyote or a dog's eating it, they don't get any problems. So you want to use good hygiene, of course, you're not looking to increase the chances of any problems, but <clears throat> they're designed to do that. So go to my website, take some time, learn about it, uh, do your own research. Uh, there's a bias out there about holistic medicine and also about nutrition. So you have to do your own homework. Just be logical and remember, smile. Give your dog some raw meat and he'll love you even more, even though he already loves you unconditionally. Ciao and thanks for listening. Have a great day.